So let's look at specific example of evolution over time. We'll look at plants, okay? As we said before, we know that life evolved on Earth somewhere around 3.85 billion years ago. We don't necessarily have fossils, but we have uh, things that are frozen into rocks and we can uh, know things like stromatolites that also exist now have been frozen into rocks from 3.85 billion years ago and we know that they were a form of archaea as we saw in the tree of life and certain bacteria which evolved to have plastids and certain bacteria which had mitochondrion they were mitochondrion allows you to burn the sugar and produce energy plastids allows you to take energy from the sun and fix carbon dioxide and produce the sugar so the plastids carry their own dna so we know that now the plants have both mitochondrion and plastids so at some point they merged somehow and formed so called photosynthetic algae so with the sea level change and the movement of the continents the algae got thrown onto land okay some of them survived so what happened on land essentially you have algae that grows like on rocks or soil or whatever on any kind of surfaces which still survive in a similar form as they would be in the ocean but most of the plants and grasses you see around they have structures they have lignins which allows them to ha stand up uh, in fact have trunks and grow as tall as several hundred feet and so on and some trees also live for thousands of years so this happened somewhere around 400 million years ago as i said at the cambrian lots of new species evolved so what is the main thing to think about here before photosynthesis became so abundant you could not have had high levels of oxygen in the atmosphere so photosynthesis became very abundant oxygen began to increase as oxygen increased multicellular organisms which means organisms which have not just unicellular or one cell algae but multiple cells complex forms first radial symmetry like a jellyfish which only has up and down but no left and right and then so called bilateral symmetry like we we have left and right all the insects cockroaches bees etc all began to evolve so the the transplantation of these algae onto land began the competition for light plants need carbon dioxide they need nutrients and they need light right so they began to grow hard structures so they could stand up over the other species and reach the sunlight okay as we'll see soon in another module that as they began to change the surface of the uh, earth the atmosphere also began to be affected because if you have trees or a desert the drag that the atmosphere feels the heat exchange the water vapor exchange they are all very different okay all these things act together so you can see here that the first vascularization which means the evolution of vas vascular structures in the plants to move the water from the ground deep inside the soil onto the leaves which need to do photosynthesis began around 420 million years ago then first tomato and the stem began to emerge few million years later and various other species began to evolve large species evolved almost 50 million years later and then complex leaf structures and so on in another module we'll see how the leaf structure itself depends on environmental conditions but you can see here that the other thing that happened with the evolution of plants is that the oxygen content began to increase but they began to take carbon dioxide and convert it into organic matter or tree trunks and so on or the leaves would fall and get buried in the soil and the carbon dioxide would be buried and so on and so forth so over the same time the carbon dioxide in the oxygen began to drop if you reduce the carbon dioxide and if you remember your greenhouse effect that means the warming effect of the greenhouse gas is reduced so in fact at some point it became so cold that almost the entire earth got covered in ice and snow in the so called snowball earth so the evolution of plants increased oxygen decreased carbon dioxide affected carbon cycle climate 
and as we will see also some geologic features because the erosion is reduced because of forests over the rocks on the other hand growth of algae can increase the weathering of the rocks in the so called chemical weathering because basically they convert the surface into soft material eventually to soil if they stay long enough and so on. So th this is a very good example of how climate evolved, how biology evolved and they began to interact with each other. Thank you.